Welcome back everyone, Twish is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video. Today, we're heading over to Playmates Neck of the Woods for a brand new character, brand new figure from a brand new show that just premiered on Paramount+. Plus. And of course, I am talking about Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is a sequel series to the movie TMNT Mutant Mayhem. And the new character, of course, which totally caught my eye, is the one, the only Turbo Cami. Now, I don't know too much about her, but she looks pretty darn cool in that old school vintage -y sort of way. Part of the new wave, the high school turtles and a crab pult. Might grab him if I see him later on. He's not out just yet, but you can clip and collect this bio card and read up on old Turbo Cami. And here's the barcode. Mine came from Walmart, so start a look in there first. Now, here is everything taken out of the packaging. It's just a figure. But what totally caught my eye is that old school look. Now, not all the designs of the Mutant Mayhem really do it for me, but this one just looked really cool. A little Archie-ish, a little old school Varner toy magic. And I love that they put so much paint all over this thing. Now, a lot of it is colored plastic, let's be honest, but it's a great sculpt along with a great design. Turbo Cami is, in fact, one of those Jackson chameleons, three horn chameleons. It's got a wild, wicked tongue. The teeth are painted. The eyes are cool. Everything is just very odd, very weird, and that's what really makes for a great TMNT figure. Now, in terms of the articulation, the head will kind of sort of move. Keep in mind, these are for the kiddos, so I'm not looking for too much. As long as the thing stands we're good. The arms, the elbows, they spin. It totally works for me. And it has the funky little weird hands, which will swivel. Well done there. Bringing the creepo factor for those chameleon hands. I totally dig that. Little bit of a waste to turbo Cami. She'll simply just spin. The legs will get really hindered. That's one element where I'll be like, yeah, it's kind of cumbersome to say the least. But with that tail, when you get her all situated, when you figure out the articulation, surprisingly, for being a very, we'll say, top-heavy, front-heavy figure, she will stand pretty darn cool, as long as you just kind of get her a-going in the right, proper way. You put the arms forward, you don't want to be too far forward, too far back, that sort of deal. But again... It's just an awesome looking TMNT figure. And for putting her with some recent Playmates TMNTs, yeah, I would say this is probably the area where she'll work best along with the Mutant Mayhems, the Tales of the TMNT, all that sort of thing. But yes, she is in that smaller scale around the five inch mark. To put her with NECA Toys, Super 7, I don't think it works all too well, the design of it. It's very archy in a way, like I said, but Negatoys is way too detailed, more of the adult collector item where this is just a fun kid's toy and that's really all it needs to be. So Classic Playmates is indeed where she fits best. So that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new TMNT Playmates Toys Turbo Cami from the new Tales of the TMNT cartoon. What do you think about the show? I haven't seen it yet, but hey, I'm interested to know your thoughts. So tell me about it. Is it worth the watching. There's so many good shows that come in. Really looking forward to the holiday season, but you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Turbo Cami. I'm very interested to know why. I'll probably watch the show eventually, just for that alone. But hey, Turbo Cami, it's a decent name, and it makes for a great looking figure. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, when it comes to a great TMNT design, the weirder, the creepier, the more disgusting, the better. And Turbo Cami definitely exemplifies all of that and then some. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.